Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Carson Cloud. So in this video, I'm going to create a Java runtime deployment package. So I have a request from my fan. He wants, or he's looking for Java runtime package. So let's get started. <clears throat> so as you can see here, I have Java runtime 8.7, I'm sorry, 8.0 update 73. And I downloaded the MSI from Sun Java. So I created an install.bat. And inside my install.bat, <clears throat> I execute the MSI exec uh, slash I, and then the quote percent sign and the uh, tilde DPO DP0. And then the my MSI and the uh, close quote and the command line is install silent install underscore silence equals one space auto underscore update equals zero and then the slash L that means log file it's going to save a log file into Windows folder um, under logs folder so this is the command line I'm going to use to silent the install. So now I'm going to go and create a, a package in Configuration Manager. I'm here in Software Library, and I go into Application, Create Application. It's going to be a manual specific uh, specify applications. I'm going to call this. Sun Java 8.7, I'm sorry, 8.0.73. Let's call it update 73. Okay, so I don't need any of these information here. I'm going to click next. I am not going to fill up anything here, it's not required. And the keywords, just call it Java. I also can change the icon. So I'm not going to do that here. I'm going to click Next. I need to create a deployment type. Since I'm using the exe, uh, I'm sorry, since I'm using the bat file, I'm going to use script installer. I got manual specific specified deployment. Click next. Let's call this install Java 7.0. Sorry, it's 8, not 7. 8.0. Update 73. Going to click next. Content locations. I'm going to paste that here. Install programs. I'm going to browse to the bat file. Uninstall. I have an uninstall string. Should be in my command line here. Click next. The detection method. It's going to be, you can do whatever you want, exe, registry, or Windows installer. I'm going to use Windows installer and paste the Windows installer GUID. Put it in there. MSI, this MSI product code exists. So that means it's, it's installed. Click OK. Next. I'm going to change this to 20 minutes. Oops, sorry, I need to change this to install for system, whether or not user is logged on, install program visibility, just put normal. That's fine. Click next. Requirements, since this is a 64 bit, I'm going to choose device collection, uh, device category, and then the operating system. 
it's going to be I have only Windows in my environment I'm sorry Windows 64 and I'm also going to choose Windows 64 all Windows 764 that's fine looks good I'm going to click next dependency I don't have any dependency click next next and next all right now i can go ahead and click next next that should create the package for me close I'm going back to the applications i'm going to refresh the screen where's the sun java Let's see here try again There you go, Sun Java. I'm going to right click and then distribute contents. All right, now look at the content status. It's progress. So I'm going to deploy it. Right click, deploy it. I'm going to deploy it to my test device. Windows 10 004, that's the name of my test device. Click next. I'm going to make it mandatory. Click next as soon as possible. Shows display software center shows all notification. That's fine. Next and next again. Now let's go back to the content status. It is successfully distributed to the DP. Now I can go back to my console here. I mean the my Windows machine, Windows 7, uh, Windows 10 machine here. I'm going to force the policy. All right, now let's go to Software Center to see if it's going to download. It should take some time, maybe five, ten minutes, even less. It should be installing shortly. I'm going to try to force the policy again. Oh, by the way, let me um, check to see if there's a um, Java runtime is already installed. Oh, it is. I'm going to remove it. All right. Now it should install. Let me force the policy again. Configuration manager, action, machine retrieval policy. Okay. Refresh. All right, it's going to take a few minutes. I'm going to pause the recording. All right, looks like it is. Um, it finally arrived. <clears throat> Let's take a look. As you can see, it is installing. And that should appear in the programs and features in a few minutes. It's not there yet. Keep refreshing. So 
So while it's installing, I um, just want to make sure that you guys got the right um, the uh, command line. This is the command line that I put in the bat file. So it's really simple and easy to do. I'm going to copy this line and put in the uh, the video description so you guys can just copy it. All right, let's go back to my test machine. Let's look at the uh, programs and feature again and refresh. There it is. Thank you for watching, guys. If you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and have a great day.